Hey guys, so today we're going to be starting from the beginning of a shoe paint and going all the way through. Um, so today's shoe paint theme is actually a Jurassic Park theme. Um, this one is for my little sister who is such a huge, huge fan of Jurassic Park. Her and my son, they both really love Jurassic Park and the dinosaurs. Um, so what we're seeing right now is I've actually um, done my secondary shoe and I've decided on my design for the um, other shoe. The secondary shoe is a very minimalist design. Um, this one will be a lot more in detail and in focus. And we're actually going to start from the beginning of drawing it and going all the way into preparing the shoe for the design itself. Uh, so what you can see I'm starting to do now is prepare the shoe and the sole for the painting process. Um, so what I'm doing starting off is cleaning the shoe. Um, I already went over it with an alcohol wipe uh, to make sure that I removed all the surface grime and this is actually a shoe repaint so there are um, some messy spots where I'm trying to clean up um, you can kind of see the irregular black streaks underneath that fine black line I added so I'm starting right now with nail polish remover because I use acrylic paint um, that's a and so now I'm actually going to move into the next kind of process, which is the sanding of the shoe. This can be the most risky of the shoe, um, the shoe sole cleanup, excuse me, um, which for some individuals, um, that's not a big issue. However, um, I try to stay away from this unless there is a lot of really big concerns because you do risk the integrity of the shoe if you get too much of the rubber sanded away. Uh, you can use a sand block as I'm using or you can use a Dremel. Um, if you're going to use a Dremel I would recommend the little battery operated nail file ones as they're not quite as strong so you have a lot more control. It's better to go slow and easy uh, rather than just going in with the heavy duty artillery. And once you have thoroughly sanded the grime and the stain away, you can go ahead and clean the shoe again, make sure that you've got all the little bits and bobbles of debris wiped off, blown off, and uh, you will be ready for the next step. Um, now this step is the plastic part. Um, you can actually wait to do this until you're ready to paint the shoe. Um, you can change these last two steps around, which would be the image transfer and the plastic wrap placement or the sole protectant. I chose to do this first because I have a tendency to get graphite all over my hands and I didn't want to get it on the sole of the shoe. So I figured I'd just do it while I'm ahead. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm really placing that plastic wrap deep against the sole of the shoe. Um, another way to protect the shoe is by using painter's tape. Uh, you can't use a stronger tape such as packaging tape or duct tape because the adhesive will actually stick to the shoe um, which is then a mess you have to clean up with the residual adhesive and then um, you could also use liquid latex. Um, I've actually ran out of liquid latex um, but I find this works pretty good uh, especially if you are doing a partial sole paint like you see in this shoe where I want to have that clean precise line 
and I have a textured shoe uh, up at the toe. So that liquid latex does actually work out very, very well. Um, who knew the beauty community was on to something? So once you've secured and protected the sole of your shoe with your preferred method, uh, now we're ready for the image transfer itself. Um, as you guys may have heard from my previous videos, there are three different ways to transfer an image. There is the freehand, there's the trace and transfer, and then there is the trace stencil transfer, which you're actually going to see me use in this method. Um, the trace stencil transfer is going to be really ideal for any one of those who either aren't very talented with a pencil um, or they are working with a very, very detailed drawing or subject matter. Um, now, as you guys have seen I have a lovely Dilophosaurus image that I've selected for this shoe based on a scene from the first Jurassic Park movie where Newman or whatever that guy's name is gets into the Jeep and actually gets venom spat into his eyes from the Dilophosaurus. So it's a very detailed image that um, I found a fellow artist do, which I've used as inspiration for my picture. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting as close to the line as possible. I really want to make this look like a paper cutout of the image I want. And what you're going to do for a detailed image like this is once you've cut out as much of the image as possible, you're going to lay it on top of the shoe itself firmly and flatly and you're actually going to trace around it so again using it as a stencil guide now when you are using um, a black shoe preferably a pre-primed black shoe a graphite pencil is great because there's not a whole lot of erasing. There's not a whole lot of concern about um, show through once you've painted the image. But you can also still very clearly see it. Um, as you guys will see, I'll try and show the shoe after I've drawn on it um, in the light so you can really see the graphite show through. And once you've traced your image, you're actually going to remove the excess and you're going to get closer and closer to each outline, uh, making sure that you line up the image right where it was uh, beforehand. So that way you have the best matching up for the shoe itself and for the image. This is going to make your life so much easier, especially if you are unsure of your drawing skills or you want something to be very, very precise or very detailed. Um, this way you have a great idea of where things are going to be and what the image is. And if you guys really liked this video, which I hope you did, please like and subscribe. Um, I try to upload new videos every week and I post also on my Instagram the shoe paints as I'm doing them. So if you'd like to see me do another shoe paint, drop a comment down below and I'll consider it for the next one. And until next time guys, I hope you are well.